Hello, sports fans. I am here with Nick and Ramon from Sony San Diego Studios. How are you guys? Pretty good. Fabulous. What are we looking at today? You guys brought MLB The Show 2015, <coughs> which is coming out just about a week? March 31st. Oh, two weeks. Okay. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, so uh, last year was the first year that it was on PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. A big deal for, uh, you know, the show. Yeah. Um, and you guys are going to show us some of the new stuff that the game has uh, coming up for, for sure. this year. Yeah. yeah. What, are we, uh, what are we looking at? The first thing we're going to show you is what happens when you first uh, install MLB 15 to show and you played MLB 14 to show, which is our royalty programming. Let Nick take it away. Yeah, so uh, we're doing this thing called the Universal Rewards. So we brought a couple screenshots. So when you first uh, enter the game, first thing you're going to see is you're going to get a bunch of stuff. Basically, with our new Universal Rewards uh, feature, we're, we're showering you with items that you'll be able to use throughout the game. We've developed a bunch of these new items. Uh, you got equipment. We got nine new licensed partners this year. Nike's one of them there. Under Armour, Rawlings, Wilson. We got uh, Marucci every bats, every official Sam representative bat. in cleats, batting gloves, fielding gloves, and bats. It's for that authentic experience. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We've we've been wanting to do it for years, so we're pretty psyched about that. And then you'll also be getting uh, cards. We got this little stamp system going on in the bottom where every day you log in, you get a stamp. You're gonna get a free pack after nine stamps. <laughs> like we like sandwiches at the studio. Fair so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and, then, yeah. I mean, so what do the cards actually do once you unlock those? Like, what can players do with them? Are yeah. they just for collecting? Uh, no. So we have a mode called Diamond Dynasty, which is you know fantasy card collecting mode where you build like a fantasy team of players. So you'll be collecting these cards no matter where you play, even if you're playing like our our uh, road to the show mode, franchise mode, you'll be collecting all sorts of different stuff. In franchise mode, we got a new feature where you can partner with like a, a brand and they'll sponsor your team and depending on what uh, stats you're you're getting in game, you'll earn extra budget to spend on your team and stuff. Will they ever drop you for playing like crap? <laughs> no, you'll just get, you'll get, le you'd get less, uh, Less okay. budget, but yeah, they won't ever drop you. It's basically like an item that you can just swap in and out whenever you want to like partner up. Gotcha. You, that'll you'll see it on when you go in game too. It'll be represented in like the in-game on-screen displays. It'll show like you know Nike swoosh down in the bottom right of your news ticker. What you know stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, the in the road to the show you get you get equipment. So we basically have this equipment system where it's it's pretty RPG. And you know, inspired you. You equip this stuff on your player in his batting glove slot, his glove slot. Uh, and there's three qualities of each each brand in each item slot. So you know, you could get like really good Nike shoes, uh, ridiculously good Nike shoes, and those will actually make your player faster. Just like kind of fun stuff. You know, exactly. You know, shoes make you run fast. <laughs> And what's awesome about Universal Rewards and the cards is even if you're getting stuff that you don't want to use, you can still use it to get stuff that you do play. Because like we hear that some people, oh, I only play Road to the Show and I never play Franchise. Well, you're giving me these sponsorships and Franchise that I'll never use. Well, you can put those on a community marketplace and yeah. sell them for stuff to use in Road to the Show. Oh, so even if you get yeah. stuff you don't want, yeah. you can exchange them on the marketplace and uh, purchase something that you can use. Yeah. That's great. So we're in a game here. I'm gonna try not to suck. I'm also gonna, gonna try. Try. Try to, <laughs> try to suck my heading home run. Right time, which is, which is not oh, very no, popped easy. Up. Oh, Ramon no. is, a, I think you're what, 0 for 3? I'm on 0 for 3 on our live stream, <laughs> <our live, laughs> which is <laughs> terrible. Just like, it's really, up. really bad. He's not that bad, but he so gets we, nervous. Yeah. So we've nah. done a lot of stuff to the game this year, and we'll, we'll talk about gameplay first. Uh, gameplay is king, gameplay is everything. And this year, we've done the most in the gameplay realm than we've ever done in any other year. Um, and that starts with one is we have enhanced ball physics. We noticed that our fly balls were kind of hanging too much and we weren't seeing enough doubles and triples in the game. Yeah. So what we've done is we've reworked the code and we have our exit velocity for fast balls. We've changed it so now balls get to the precipice a lot faster, which means they'll hit the ground faster as well. Gotcha. So guys won't be as, uh, so you won't catch a lot of those easy fly balls and some of them will drop in and give you those more doubles and triples. Uh, what we've also done is we've re-looked at our speed paradigm across the board and changed basically the way the game works. Uh, base stealers are faster than they used to be. Like the really fast guys in the game, they're faster than they've always been. Everybody right. else is maybe a little bit slower. Um, our fielders in general, they're a little bit slower. But what we've also done is one of the major complaints we've always heard was, 
oh, the computer always know, knows where the ball's going to land. So we have this thing called um, advanced routes to ball, where the computer doesn't quite know exactly where the ball's going to land. And it also varies on if you're using a gold glove or not. Somebody's really good. So guys won't take straight beelines to the ball anymore. They'll take more realistic rounding paths. And that has a big effect on the game. Uh, maybe it's a ball that you would have caught in last year's game. Now he won't catch it. Or maybe he does catch it, but he catches it at an angle to where he can't get a great throw off. And maybe you take second or take third. Yeah. It's interesting. Like people think of simulation games as being very difficult by nature, and it sounds like you guys have made it more fun, but also more difficult in a way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, our it's game, a balance. Our game does have a reputation for being difficult, but it is a. We do pride ourselves as a baseball simulation, and that's mainly because in baseball, you know, if you fail seven out of ten times, you're one of the best players in baseball. Sure. So it is naturally inherent to baseball, but yeah, it's a. Uh, it's not, it's not too hard. It, I feel like a lot of people, you know, especially in sports games, they have the pride factor. I know I have it where, like, even if I pick up a game for the first time, i got to put it on, like, you know, all-star difficulty level because right. I play a lot of games <laughs> and I'm good. But, yeah, our game will punish you if you try to skip ahead. Yeah, we've also added over 700 new gameplay animations. Uh, we've completely redone our tag system, which you'll notice all of the time now. Our tags match up the guy's glove. He actually is trying to touch a body part instead of just trying to tag him out. Sure. Uh, we've also done this thing is when you're playing, uh, we've added 70 new third out animations. So when guys get that third out, they'll make a nice player, they'll point it, they'll round back towards the dugout, and that's something that we've added this year. We've also reworked basically all of our hitting difficulties to try to balance everything out. Uh, we've made a couple methods a little bit harder, like meter pitching is a little bit harder this yeah, year. That's uh, what you're looking at right now. Yeah, which is what you're looking at, meter pitching being a little bit easier. We also have this new feature called quick shifts. So after he throws this pitch, if he doesn't strike him out, pressure's on Nick, don't <laughs> strike him out. And he popped up. So we can't show you quick shifts. I make shifts. outs. Okay. <laughs> that's all I make outs. So maybe we'll show you quick shifts in the next inning. Yeah, it was third out. Yeah, a lot of people think about sports games as kind of just the same game every year with new rosters, but you guys are really just going to town on this thing. No, yeah, we pride ourselves every year. We we really hammer it. We keep we keep in really good touch with our user base. We think we're we're always trying to trying to give them what they want, you know. Sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we work really hard every year to make to make a really compelling new title. I mean, that's our job, right? Is to convince people that this year's game is much better than last year's game. Right. And I think people trust us that we do that. We uh, we definitely pump out a lot of new features. I mean, more, th more than we can ever even talk about. If you go to our website, we always put out our huge feature list, and it's it's intense. It's really long. It'll take <laughs> yeah. you a while to read. Yeah, we try, always try to, because that's the number one goal every year for any sports franchise, is to make the person not think, oh, it's just a roster update. So right. we're always trying to do compelling features, uh, new ways to play the game to kind of counteract that. And I need to get a base hit here. <laughs> You can feel it too. I mean, when this year, like anybody who's played last year's game, I think they'll genuinely feel it when they play this yeah. year's game. I mean, not even just graphically, our game looks a lot better. I mean, we took a huge leap last year, first year on PS4, and this year I'm really impressed with what our graphics guys have done. They really, I mean, every every aspect of graphics is vastly improved this year. And from what I understand, the lighting in particular has been yeah. tweaked quite a bit. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So <clears throat> what our graphics team uh, tasked themselves with this year was uh, a few things. One was uh, this: we have this new tech uh, called color matching. And what this tech allows us to do, <clears throat> it allows every artist to go to MLB.com, pull up Kansas City Royal Stadium, find the perfect day game in June with no clouds in the sky, and we'll pause that game. And what they'll do is they'll grab a swatch of the grass color from that game and they'll pull it into this program and it immediately gets transferred into the game. Oh, great. And we do that in uh, three different areas. We do that for grass color, so every MLB stadium has their own unique grass color pulled from real MLB.com footage. We do it for dirt color as well, so all 30 stadiums have their own unique dirt color. And we've also used this technology in our player skin tone. And what the feature we call the feature is called player skin tone realism. And all of our games in the past, we've had seven skin tones that we've had to group over 750 right. players in. Not so easy. everybody <laughs> ends up looking kind of the same. Yeah. So with this uh, 
player skin tone matching, which we're doing the same thing we do at the stadiums. We basically pull up a screenshot, probably from spring training of them getting, getting their head scans. We take a little blot from their cheek and we give them their own unique skin tone. So now every major league player in the game has his own unique skin tone that's pulled from real photos of him in real life. That's great. And it adds a lot to the game. Some other things that we've done, and this is a big one, is uh, this thing called seasonal sun and shadows. The way our sun and shadows have always worked in MLB The Show was the sun was static. It would always move in the same degree no matter where it was April, May, June, July, August, right. September. Uh, we all know that's not how things work in real life. <clears throat> the sun and shadows in April in Fenway is much different than the sun and shadows in June and July. Yes. And so you'll see that. You'll see the sun will start in one position and it'll start to rotate. Shadows will creep more onto the field. And it just adds a lot of life to the stadiums that we just didn't have last year. So people are really going to enjoy playing all these iconic stadiums throughout the year in different times of day yeah. to see how the sun and shadows react. And you can see this in exhibition mode. In exhibition mode, we allow you to pick the month. We've never allowed you to do that because it wouldn't have done anything. Right. So we allow you to pick the month and the time of day so you can see the different sun positions and the shadows moving across the field. Awesome. Dude got smoked. <laughs> yeah, he did. He got hit hard. Uh, so from what I understand, you can also bring some save data from uh, last year's game into this. Yes. So <clears throat> year to year saves. Uh, year to year saves is a feature that no other sports game has. Uh, we're the first development team to be able to crack that code. And what Yudia Saves allows you to do is carry on your franchise, season, or road to the show save files from MLB 14 to 15. So in essence, you just never have to start over. And right. that's something that people have always asked for. I create this road to the show guy, I get to the majors, and then the next MLB to show come out and have to start over. Well, I don't want to start over anymore. Now we've, been, we've given you that ability. And it works very simple. Uh, if you played MLB 14 to show, you just keep that save file on your hard drive. Don't delete it. When you buy MLB 15, it's really simple. You go to Road to the Show. Uh, once you press Road to the Show, you'll see this new option that says Continue from MLB 14. You press that option, we recognize that save file, and you pick up right where you left off. Right. And if you are moving to PlayStation 4 for the first time and you were playing on Vita or PS3 last year, you can still bring that save file over with one extra step. So let's say you uh, bought the PlayStation Vita version last year and you're upgrading the PlayStation 4. So to use your DSA is what you want to do is take your PlayStation Vita save file, upload it to the cloud, and download it from the cloud onto your PlayStation 4. And then gotcha. your PlayStation 4 will recognize that save file, and you can continue from where you start off. Seems like there's every incentive for people who played last year to pick up this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. And uh, we, get, we get a lot of questions all the time about year to save. Like, well, what about all the new features that are in the game? Do I get those? Yes, you get all the new features. Right. Um, if you're using a year to year save from franchise and you're a Dodgers fan, last year we didn't have licensed equipment. This year we do. So if you use a year to year save file, we're going to update all of the real MLB players to have the licensed equipment that they're supposed to wear. Same things with face scans. If a guy has a new face scan, you're going to get that new face scan. Uh, our new GM goals contracts feature in franchise mode, you're opted into that brand new feature. The same thing with uh, road to the show and licensed equipment, you're opted into those new features. So you're able to carry on that old save. Yeah. But you still get all the new stuff in the OB15. Yeah, that's wonderful. And do we have a base hit yet? Uh, <laughs> no, we don't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go to. I'm gonna We're just going to go to rookie. Hitting. Uh, this is a new hitting feature we have this year. Maybe I'll be able to get a base hit with this all one. Right. <laughs> so, so, where are you aiming? Uh, I wasn't aiming anywhere. I just want to. So we, it's, it's, a, it's an augment of our timing hitting, where it's just timing specific. You don't have to worry about put it using our, what we call our plate coverage mm -hmm. indicator yeah. to uh, get the ball. You just have to worry about timing. But you can influence uh, where you want to hit it by, by using the, the left stick. And you know? So if I want to hit one in the see. air, I'll press up. I, I actually, let's see if we can pull one here. Yeah, there you pulled it. Uh, so often people are intimidated to kind of get into sports games if they like haven't played them in exactly, a long time yeah. because they think, man, everyone's going to be so much better than me or maybe the game has changed so much and gotten so in depth that yeah. it's not going to be what I, you know, what I would hope to be able to get into, but you guys have implemented a bunch of stuff to kind of ease that process? Yeah, we have, we have beginner mode. Um, when you first load the game, we ask you, do you play a lot of games or do you not play? And if you choose, well, I kind of don't play a lot of games, uh, we default the game to the more easier settings. Uh, okay. You're on timing hitting, which is actually the most popular hitting method, and you're on uh, classic pitching, 
and we, you, we turn on auto fielding for you. So all you have to worry about is the hitting and pitching as, aspects of the game. And once you right. get those down, then you can turn on, turn off auto field and you can start to learn how to field. So we have different mechanisms in the game to help new users get more acclimated. Yeah. Uh, we also have a, a, a tips option that's defaulted on at the bottom of the screen. We'll constantly show you little tips and hints throughout the game of things that's going on so you'll know how to do all the different mechanics yeah. in MLB to show. How has the, uh, the commentary evolved? I can't imagine how much work goes into that because yeah. you guys have to record dialogue for like any possible scenario with every player, I imagine. Yeah, it's, right. there's absolutely tons. Right. So it's, we attacked it twofold this year. Uh, there's over 1,700 new lines of play-by-play -play commentary. Jeez. Um, what we've also done is we've changed uh, how Matt calls different things. Uh, in last year's game or any other MLB to show, if it was going to be a home run, Matt would call it as a home run. We yeah. kind of give it away. Now those calls are more dynamic, so Matt will get really excited about a deep fly ball that looks like it's going to get right. out, but then somebody catches it. And you're like, oh, I, I kind of got fooled because Matt's <laughs> the way Matt's talking about it. We call uh, double plays differently now. Uh, we do more dynamic calls around the strike zone. But the biggest thing we've done in the commentary is our new Inside the Show news suite. Um, and it's a radio show that plays in Road to the Show and in franchise mode. And what we've noticed is, and one of the biggest complaints we've always heard about is, throughout the season, I know what's going on with my player and my team, but I'm kind of lost about what's going on in the sure. league. And so what Inside the Show Radio Newsweek does is it gives you a radio show every single day at the end of every game and tells you what's going on in the league. The first thing the radio show always talks about is your team or your guy on road to the show. So if you play the game, you went four for five with Andrew McCutcheon, he's gonna talk about that. But what you also hear is you're gonna hear a lot of dynamic stuff. Um, let's say a guy hits his 5,000 career home run, you're gonna hear about that. You're gonna hear about the playoff race. If there are any trades, the radio show is gonna talk about the trade. So nothing's canned in the radio show. It's all dynamic. You're gonna hear new stuff all the time. Yeah. So every time you kick off that radio show, you're gonna hear something different. What's another cool thing about the radio show is you spend about half amount of time playing games as you do in the front end. So it's like a one-to-one -one thing. So you're spending all this time in the front end doing lineups, making trades, and nothing's going on. Right. You kick off a radio show, and then you can go and do all that stuff and still hear the radio show in the background. And we think that adds a lot of life and depth into franchise and role to the show this year. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Is there How much uh, does, does this game connect to the actual baseball season in real life. Like, are there any things that update or yeah. play around with that? Yeah, we have a feature called The Show Live, which uh, basically we take in a direct feed from the MLB, MLB.com. It's the same feed that they use to update their scores. Okay. And we update the scores actively in our game, and then you can go in, and if you want to play a game from that's happening right now or today, you can go and jump in, and it'll have those updated lineups up to the minute and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. We also do roster uh, updates weekly to make sure that we're following, yeah. you know, the call ups, what's happening downs. in the real, yeah, call-ups, send-downs, any trades, anything that happens in free agency. If even players, you know, if they're, if they're on a tear, you'll see that reflected in how yeah. good they are in our game. I'm sure you can also turn that off if you don't want to be disturbed. Yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you, you can always keep your old, you know, launch day rosters or your custom rosters, stuff like that. So bring up the uh, defensive quick shifts down D-pad. You do it. So this is another new feature uh, the one I designed is created. It's called Quick Shifts. So you used to have to pause the game, go into defensive shifts, and sell this. So let's say this guy's an extreme pull hitter, and you just want to say, for this at bat, I just want to go extreme uh, right. Nice. And it's what we've done is we've taken the most common shifts and we've just thrown them here in this quick shift menu. And it's just a much faster way to do defensive shifts because, you right. know, baseball, there's a lot of strategy in baseball. So that's another way you can get quick shifts. What we've also done is uh, there wasn't a way that you could see your pitcher's pitch count if you weren't pitching. So if you hit left on a D-pad, you can always see the total pitch count and the pitcher energy for both pitchers on the mound, uh, even when the other guy is, is not even uh, on the mound pitching. That's been a very uh, much requested thing. And so another thing to try to show new players how to play a game, that's the tips. Down at the bottom right, you just hit tips, and it shows you all the different uh, quick menus that we have in the game. And I'm going to give up home run. <laughs> Prove it. Oh! Uh, is there any integration with the PlayStation camera at all? Like any voice commands? I'm trying to imagine how that would even fit in, but, yeah, I'm, but yeah, I right. can't, so I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm so curious. So the PlayStation camera is an awesome tool. Uh, we're thinking of creative ways to use it, but in MLB 15, uh, we are not using the PlayStation camera. Yeah. Fair enough. But we do have some ideas. 
<laughs> yeah, we've had we've definitely talked about them. They're all just really weird and obscure, and it's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, we all saw how well face mapping worked in some sports games last yeah. year, so maybe it's, you know. And ball boys actually catch the balls now, so do, <laughs> so so do the crowd. The crowd will actually catch uh, fly balls and home runs. Next gen ball boy. Next physics. gen ball boy <laughs> physics, where they catch the they actually catch the balls. Can I get them? Nope. Yeah, what have you guys done to the crowds at all? Have they changed, like in terms of their behaviors or the models at all? One of the biggest things we've done is we have accurate um, crowd placement. Uh, in most games, like there are a couple of uh, stadiums and teams like Boston, Philadelphia that sell out the vast majority yeah. of their games. Unfortunately, all baseball fan bases aren't that crazy. So what you'll see is the cheap seats most of the time will be empty. But Kansas City has a rabid fan base. And they're playing against mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, so it's it's pretty right full. Field. Yeah, but they, they, yeah, you but see a little more bit sparse. Full. It's more full down by the field. Yeah. It's not. Which yeah, on field. So in the field level, you'll see it'll be all full. But as you start to go out to the cheap seats, you'll start to see it get a little bit no man's land without a lot of people. But it also depends upon the team and the time of year. Like if you're in the playoff race, obviously there are going to be more people in the stands. Last year was the first year for PS4, so we really, really built out the crowd. And, yeah. Uh, we got people holding signs, doing presentations. Like the crowd gets more involved. I think is it new this year that they can actually catch the ball? To yeah, the crowd? that's new. Yeah. What about like the the clothing they wear? Like if it's a night game, you know, yeah, here yeah. in Giant Stadium, like that's <laughs> I think it's pretty cold. Yes. They, yeah, they have on jackets. Okay. Next gen jacket. Yeah. Next gen jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Those physics though. I'm also curious about the sort of legacy player uh, mode you were telling me about earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's the road to the show, yeah. It's, it's uh, you play as one player, you, you create your own custom guy, you start in the minors, it's, you know, it's I think it's by far our most popular mode, and uh, and you build him up, you play, you try to make the majors, you, you train him up, train his skills, he gets progressively better, you deal with his contract negotiations and stuff like that all the way up. And then the new, one of the big new features we added that we were talking about earlier was that equipment feature right. where you get to like acquire, you acquire this equipment yeah. and you suit them up. <laughs> what is that guy doing? He's having a blast. <laughs> He's dancing. Uh, Joel's, Joel's having fun over there. Yeah, the, a lot of these guys are devs on our game. Uh, you know, that sure. one <laughs> their heads captured. Um, and you guys are bringing back a lot of legendary players as well from the past? We Yeah, we got a partnership with the MLB Alumni Association. So we got one iconic alumni player from each team or legend nice. right. and uh, yeah there's a whole you can use you can use them in the in the offline modes like whatever you want but you got to collect the card their special legend which is awesome it's a throw it like looks like the card from sure. the era yeah. we we're, we're partnered with tops to make it make them get the actual assets so it's totally nostalgic. I, I remember a lot of those cards. Is Babe Ruth on both the Red Sox and the Yankees? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> the, I think, what are the Red Sox, Ted Williams, of course. Oh, sure. Come on, man. Yeah. Neil Walker. <laughs> if I can hit a bomb here to break this tie. You can find those legend cards in, uh, in packs, or if you collect uh, a team, you can collect enough players in the team, you'll actually unlock access to that legend player, too. Nice. What do you do for sort of the uh, the, you know, the more recent uh, additions to the league? Like, how far back do uh, some of those players go? Well, so we uh, like is uh, Andres Galarraga the uh, oh we call, yeah, uh, so we got, uh, we're covering all eras in terms yeah. of uh, the legends. Like, I think our most recent legend might be like I think the Diamondbacks have Steve sure. Finley. You know, yeah. he was pretty local, a pretty recent guy. We have. Uh, Will the Thrill Clark, you know, San Francisco, yeah. and uh, but then yeah, it goes way back. Ted Williams and Get uh, Yogi Berra. Do their do their uniforms match the uh, era as well? We do have we have throw like they don't actually wear different uniforms than the team that they play on, but we do have our throwback uniforms for most of our gotcha. teams. And in the in Diamond Dynasty mode, you get to like create your own uh, uniform, your own custom uniform. We have. I mean, for, it's a layer-based, seriously robust logo creator and jersey creator. It's it's best in class for sure. We have some videos online, and some people do some crazy, super realistic stuff. You know, <laughs> people much better at art than me. Sounds like there's just a whole lot to play with. Yeah. Just outside of you know a standard exhibition game or a oh, standard. Oh, there's, there's a lot, a yeah. lot of depth. Got a different flavors 
for everybody. You, know? <laughs> you just want to play one-off games, you can do yeah. that. If you want to do a deep franchise mode, you can do that. That's one thing we haven't talked about is the additions that we made to franchise mode. Um, this was a really important year for us. Like every year we try to focus on either Road to the Show or Franchise Mode needs to get a lot of new features this year's franchise's turn. So what we've done is, uh, in the past, once you picked the team, you were stuck with that team. There was no way for you to get fired or get other offers. Uh, now we have this new feature called GM uh, Goals and Contracts. So once you start a team, once you pick a team, uh, you start a three-year contract with that team. And you'll have, you have a yearly goal and a three-year contract goal. If you get both of those goals, you'll either one get the re-up with the team or you'll get better offers. So let's say you start with the Houston Astros and you get them over 500 for two to three years and maybe that's a goal. Maybe you get a better offer, maybe coach, I don't know, the Giants or the Cincinnati Reds. And it's a really cool feature because it now allows you to move around in franchise and not just be locked to that one team. Oh. That's great. And there's some other very uh, much requested features like Trade Finder. We have a Trade Finder. We've completely rewritten our trade logic to make it more realistic. Yeah. Uh, what else have we done? Minor league contract Yeah, logic. we have I minor mean, league contract logic. You know, logic. like, there's just so many little things, too, that we worry about in the simulation aspect of the game every year, trying to improve it, make it better. So that, there's a lot of things. Some of them sexier than others, but... Like me, contract logic is a big deal to me, right? Because I'm a baseball guy, I'm a nerd, and it's big. It's just like, yeah, I want accurate contracts, but to a lot of people, it's like, yeah, whatever. And to some people, it's the graphics. Uh, they're exactly. all they're all about the graphics. I'm sure you guys have like the lighthearted features, like home run derby. Of and course, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, and have, we have, have a new home run derby format too. Yeah, right? they changed the format in the MLB, mm -hmm. so we we reflect that. We have an online home run derby, which is really fun. Oh, where that's cool. You all like you know could be eight people playing simultaneously yeah. hitting home runs and you see like the ray the ribbons go off you see everybody else's hits compared <laughs> to yours and stuff. so I'm sure for the online stuff it's all processed locally and then sent to the server because it'd be pretty hard to sync up those frames given how strict the timing is for getting a hit if yeah, it was done on the so server like when we when in terms of online home run derby actually you don't actually have to we kind of cheat because you all you have to know is the ball path, so you don't actually have to send that much across. Okay. Uh, online, it's really it's really straightforward. You just have to know where the ball is and send the ball coordinates. Okay. Uh, That's a problem. Oof. Is, man, That's going to get too kind of bad ending. I'm gonna have to get somebody up in the bullpen. <laughs> we also have this uh, this feature that was made last year called Community Challenges, where oh oh so close. Community yeah. Challenges is is like your you're sort of like, I, I compare it to like a play, create, share type feature where you get to create whatever scenario you want with whatever teams you want and uh, and put it up and other players can go try it and like they can actually uh, stand to earn currency to go buy packs with and stuff if they pass it. Nice. It's pretty cool. It's competitive. Each one has their own leaderboard. There's just, yeah, like there's a lot for, for anybody who wants to... It doesn't matter what you're looking for. We we have it. <laughs> That's like our goal, you know. Because I mean, it's inherent to sports games. You get a lot of different demographics of people. You got your your RPG players, you know, who like sports. You got your simulation like sort of team management players that like sports. You got people who are creative artistically, and we want to cater to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Get somebody up in the bullpen. Cause he's, it's only the fourth. Five. But uh, he's, it's yeah. falling apart, though. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is so falling Mistakes apart. Mistakes were made. Yeah. We'll go talk to him, calm him down a little yeah. bit. So mound visit is a feature <laughs> that we didn't know how many people didn't know this feature was in the game. And what a mound visit does allows you to go and talk to your pitcher and hopefully calm him down. So if you do it at the right time, he'll get a confidence boost, which he, which he got. If you do it at the wrong time, he could actually take a confidence hit. Uh, you can right. do that. Once per inning per pitcher. Yeah. Uh, if you do it twice, you've got to yank him out uh -oh. the game. Uh oh, that's it a problem. Work. It didn't work. So, but is there any advantage to not doing it once per inning just to gain that little boost, or is it, or is it just the risk that it might go down? Well, if you do it just to do it, like it's going to go down. Okay. Like, like pitchers are creatures of habit, and if they see the pitching coach and manager walk They're out there, think, what's wrong with me? What, like, am, I what yeah. am I like? Why are you out here? Yeah. I'm doing fine. Uh, so yeah, if you just burned it just to burn it, he would definitely take a confidence hit. Very sensitive punch. players, those pitchers. <laughs> yes, and he's like, I'm out. Whatever. I'm not even talking to him. <laughs> he's like, I'm out. 
Uh, he's got to get us out of the end, and the Knicks got to get three of these runs back. No pressure. Oh, my goodness <laughs> sakes. They get his four runs back. He got a he hit party it. going He's in. not testing. And that. there's a new feature called, uh, oh, cool. nice. He tested yeah. it. Don't, Don't test, test me, me bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't test me, bro. <laughs> So another thing you can see is the seasonal sun and shadows working here. We're not right. going to the fifth inning, and the game started. It was daylight, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's starting to get a little bit darker. The lights are starting to come on, and you're starting to see how the field will look differently in the fourth and fifth inning, and the wheel in the first inning, depending on the sun position and if the lights are on, on or off. And now it's dust. Now we're yeah. at dust. They don't need to panic. They just need to focus on getting a few guys. That's a good. That's a double good start. Hard the opposite way. And this is going to be extra bases. Move him around. Right, here we go. Are you going to try for three? No. In there safely. He's got a double. All right. So I think we are going to let you guys get back to work on this game Sweet. because it sounds like you got a lot of work <laughs> cut out for you still, <laughs> maybe. But um, you know what? I don't actually play a lot of sports games, but I'm intrigued by this because it sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there beyond just the, the hardcore simulation. Yeah. Uh, that so many people expect. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thanks for having us. Man. And uh, this is coming out March 31st. Yes, yeah, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 4. All right, it's sounds cross good. platform saves. You can play all of them, same save file. Just saying. It's, it's <laughs> if you want to buy it twice, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take it on the bus. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. This is MLB The Show 2015. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com for more sports coverage.